Well, hello, it's John Neal here, and Merry Christmas. Nearly, it's December 2014, and who knows, you might get a present like this, which is the Pilot Parallel Pen Set, with some very nice pens, which I've used before, but I'd just like to put to use some of the things that you might be able to do with this set of pens, and I'll show you how you can work with them, the shapes you can create, and the techniques you can use, and uh, also you can mix some of the inks rather cleverly, which I think is pretty good. Um, if you wanted any reference for this, uh, there are other YouTube videos using these pens, and they're excellent. But also, um, I turn you to this book. Well, it's a magazine of the uh, Calligraphy Lettering Arts Society, of which I am a member. And there's some absolutely brilliant um, exercises and uh, examples here of beautiful lettering and calligraphy of various sorts. After all, calligraphy are, let's say, you've got handwriting, which is, and I've done some videos about that and have a, um, a full-length video for you to buy, um, if you go to my website, that is, which is, of course, www.jrenimages.co.uk for $10. <clears throat> and there are lots of other uh, websites um, and YouTube clips showing handwriting. Calligraphy, I would suggest, it can be a range of things because it could be just elaborate handwriting and very carefully done, rather all in straight lines. But there is also a type of calligraphy, of which you see quite a lot in here, um, by the class people, um, which is more artistic and you can make other forms of, and I've had a try at this as well. So there's uh, various things. And then there's the really tight stuff, which is the heraldry, um, with gold and red and beautiful, tight, italic writing, which is uh, very, very um, skillfully done too. So there's a whole range of things you can do with these pens and applications for them as well. And I'll show you one or two of the things that, uh, that I've done. Okay, let's get on with it. Okay, when you get the pen, it will have one of these uh, cartridges ready to go and this is the uh, the top end. Uh, so this is a yellow, pop it on, a little ball bearing in there to mix everything, keep it moving, screw this on and here's a little tip, once you've done that you really don't know what colour it is, the ink. So what I do is generally then get a bit of tape put a line of the ink along it and pop it around and then you know what colour it is and this one is just yellow let me just move the word yellow for you and you probably can't see that too well but so I'm going to proceed now with just the red one so this is nice and red. And you notice there it just you've got to sit the all the, the nib on the paper um, and there is a, a, a few tricks up my sleeve for lifting it off as well. So what's the what can we do with this? Now you'll notice for a start that I'm by and large holding the pen, I've said this before, at an angle. So when you go down this way it goes thin and that way it goes at its thickest. Correspondingly, if you go straight up and down, you get a half and half, and left to right get half and half, so it's a middling sort of width. That's a full width, that's the thinnest. I mean, you could make that even thinner and go completely on edge, like that. If you do that, if you hold it constantly at this angle, you get some lovely shapes come out. And notice also the way I'm holding it. Now, some have said that you can hold this in other ways. Uh, some people hold like this and um, for me I'd hold the pen between three fingers like this and also there's a little notch there which isn't on this side for some reason I just keep that notch at the top so I always know which way the pen is up um, with the pen just to carry on about what you get you get this uh, I would have thought that was a, a refillable um, sack to replace the cartridge and I suppose you could use it for such but um, they make out that it's for 
uh, washing the nib out so you can fill it with water, put it in the under the tap, pump it back and forth and washes this out, which is very effective for that. You also get some very thin uh, pieces of almost plastic on top of which you can slide in between the parallel nibs of this pilot parallel set. I've hardly ever used these because I don't feel as if I need them, but it, it helps clean out the, the nib. <clears throat> okay, so you've got this uh, nib, and this is the widest of them. This is uh, in the blue one, which is six millimeter. Um, and as you can see, when you pull it round, oh, it's <laughs> this um, cleaning gizmo had some ink on it. And look, it's made a rather an interesting color change. And I'll show you that in a moment. So you do get these lovely shapes, which you can get. And just, I, I could play about doing this for ages, uh, just making these lovely shapes. And the other trick, which I'm always happy to, to do straight away, is to lift off into the edge. And you, the corner of the pen works quite well for a very, very thin line. So you can easily go from the thickest to the thinnest. See what I did there? You lift off. As, you, as I'm coming round, I lift and turn it into the corner and then you can use the corner of the pen. And if you do it in a, a controlled way as you go through, you get a sort of a graduated movement from the thickest to this thinnest. So it goes, do that once more, down, lift and keep moving. And that is just lovely. And the pen is so good with the flow of ink, the flow of ink to go across that wide nib. I've never had a pen that will do that successfully. So this is an effect which is very good. Here's a, how about an E when you go from there? Oh look, you get an extra little kick there, come out of it. So that's good fun for that. So you need to um, use the nib at that angle. You might want, I'm turning this way, to hold it completely vertically and go, so this is sort of an unsaw feel to the letters. F, G, uh, what is it, H, can't remember. So you get this rounded sort of effect with the pen nib quite flat against the edge. Or if you wanted to, I sometimes do with the pens, turn it wide that way, but then turn the pen completely on its side. And that is fine for straight uh, lines. However, <laughs> when you come to, let's say, an O, and you want to con con keep this consistency, you've got to somehow take it round like that, which is not always easy and a bit time consuming. So if you're going to do that, be careful. One way is to keep it just on this. I, for instance, it's New Year now, soon, so one thing I've been doing is um, so you can use it in one as if it was straight, straight lines. Hello. Anyway, the other trick, which is absolutely superb, so you just need to play with this a lot. Right, um, as you can see, this is red, this is yellow. I'm going to put uh, the red at the bottom, yellow at the top, and I think you could even put it each side of the nib, <clears throat> but by doing this, <clears throat> the yellow here will run down into the red at the bottom just by holding the two nibs together. It bleeds from here into there, just by touching it, that's all you need to do. It almost seems magical to think that it would occur. About 20 seconds, and then this one, which was red, will now be most, oh, it's gone sort of orangey color. 
and as you use it, let me write the words yellow through, and it's going now, look. To red and uh, here's some examples uh, of how I've used this with all the different ink colors that you've got I mean you can experiment with this in fact you don't need to use the thicker ones you can use one of the other size ones this one's uh, 2.4 you could bleed with this this is green through to red uh, green to red that's not gonna be very good is it because green and red are going to be a bit of a mucky color uh, so this isn't a particularly good choice you have to think about what the colour mixes would do but uh, this is green first look at that so that's gone from green oh it's going brown <laughs> and now it's going red keep it flat but it eventually works its way out good fun anyway you can play about with those and uh, see how you get on Well, since it's Christmas, how about I show you how to make one of these? As you can see, the word Christmas written across there. Right, first of all, we need uh, a red pen. And I'm going to write Christmas across there. So let me turn it sideways on. And I'm going to do my old favourite old English style Biscuits, jelly, cream, and cake. Open up your presents, a jump of much too big. Give those Christmas bells. There we are. Now, you can put this, you know, those little candle things, light a little candle, put that on the top, and it glows through. However, please make absolutely sure that you're always in the room when it's lit, and if you're not there, take these off because the last thing we want is for a, a cat or an animal or a pet to knock one over or the wind or the draft and uh, put the paper on top of the candle it's a disaster so don't here's a message for you So there we have it, guaranteed hours of fun, Uncle John said so, uh, if you have a Pilot Parallel Pen set for Christmas, good fun. Um, these are them, I'll show you them later with a, a candle in them, and do remember if you do put a tea light type candle under there, do not leave candles unattended. I hate to think that these would uh, be a problem if they burst into flames, which could happen, so be very, very careful. Um, so there we are, calligraphy, love it, love it. It's magic, I don't know why, it's magic, it's great. 
and it's Christmas. Yeah. Merry Christmas. It's Christmas time. Let's sing.